Hi everybody, it's Richard here again and welcome to my Inbox 26 video where I show you some of the items I picked up over the past month or so. Now these are all new, there's no second hand records at all in here and a lot of them were pre-ordered and some of them were held back because of the COVID-19 so they've all sort of come in one big clump so we'll start off some of them aren't actually some are actually quite recent i'm going to actually show two singles first of all because oh, i just had to buy them and this is t-rex and this is truck on and this actually got in the top 10 in the uk vinyl charts and it's obviously a reissue um it's on blue vinyl just standard blue vinyl and it's supposedly um an early version I can't really tell much of a difference apart from it extends out a bit longer and there's a bit of an intro but I really fancied it and I like that their new sleeve the new mark sleeve so yeah I bought that and because I bought that I had to buy this as well and this is Venus Loon now this was never released as a single this is on red vinyl uh, during the time and this is supposedly an early version as well I do have these on CD but they just look so good and this one was going quite cheap so I picked it up too okay so those are two seven inch singles I also got this here album uh, Mark Boland Pictures of Purple People I bought this this is like a companion piece to an album this one here that I got at Christmas was which is electronic music and really all this is is the very early stuff which includes the majority of the, the beginning of Doves compilation which are all demos but it does feature the road I'm on and blown in the wind which um, are I think probably the first recordings he ever did and I believe under the name Toby Tyler reality and a soldier song are on this which I never actually had and they're very uh, primitive but the reason I really want this was the song San Francisco Poet which should have been on that last album I showed you because it was a b-side but I think they put it on this to make this album more attractive but I'm glad I've got it to be honest uh, yeah it's good to have and it does go well with the electronic music okay next up um, I had to get this Tin Machine 2 it's been reissued uh, 10,000 uh, copies on silver vinyl that's all that was being issued but now it's being issued again because it's sold out inside days um, and it's been reissued again on black vinyl but I managed to get a silver vinyl copy of it they say it's silver it looks grey but it's good to have I do have this on uh, vinyl an original one but I hate playing it because you're scared of scraping it or scratching it because it's quite expensive even though probably now that price will go down but this is number 7591 out of 10,000 so this came out on Friday and I'm just really pleased to get it so that's Tim Machine 2 next up I bought this a few weeks back and I bought the best of the Pogues and this good album it does have Fairy Tale in New York on it or fairy tale of New York which I've never liked never I love Kirsten McCall I do like the Pogues but I never liked that song but the rest of this is really good like Dirty Old Town and A Pair of Brown Eyes I enjoyed this it's good if you're having a drink put it that way but um, this is the only Pogues final I have in my collection I do have like a greatest hit CD but it's good to have on vinyl next up and yes I had to get it and it's rough and rowdy ways the Bob Dylan album and thank goodness there was a download code on this because I didn't want to have to buy the CD as well so I've now uh, downloaded the mp3 files played it in the car I do really like this I think it's I like his voice in this I just like the feel of it I know it's very wordy and I'm not the sort of person that really studies the words but the, the actual sound of it I really do like there's a couple of little bluesy numbers in here as well but uh, Murder Most File is um, on one side alone which is I suppose if you think about it it's the third album like that because it was the same I believe with um, Blonde on Blonde and Time Out of Mind but yeah this is good I wouldn't say it's anywhere near as best but it's much better than the 80s stuff 
So rough and rowdy ways, glad to get it, and it's just it's a good album. Okay, next up, <coughs> now this came from America, <coughs> and this is Nick Lowe's uh, uh, twelve-inch single with the songs "Lay It On Me, Baby," "Don't Be Nice to Me," and "Here Comes That Feeling," and then uh, the Street Jackets, Lost Street Jackets, do a version of uh, "Venus" on the B side. Yeah, it seems that Nick Lowe's only releasing singles now, he's not doing albums. But I, I saw this from the Yet Rock site and I ordered it. <coughs> I didn't think it was being released in the UK. And then after I ordered it, um, I saw it was being released in the UK and I thought, oh, this is going to be forever then for me to get this. But this actually came before the UK release. So yeah, great to have. Uh, so Nick Lowe, absolutely love him. I also saw on that site this album by Nick Lowe and Lost Street Jackets and it is called Walkabout. Now I thought this was a live album. This is not released in the UK by the way, this is only in America. But it's not. It's actually one side, six songs of the eight tracks that were on the previous two singles which I have. Which is nice to have but if I had a realised I probably wouldn't have got it. And then the second side is Lost Street Jackets when they do all Nick Lowe songs apart from Friday on my mind so I, I'm glad I got it but if I had realised that it was just the studio recordings that I have on 7 inch and 12 inch anyway I wouldn't have but still it's good to have and to add the collection okay next up and this is one I've been looking for and forward to and it's Sparks a Steady Drip 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 and I've been playing this in the car and I've played this for a full week. Initial thoughts were it's the same as Hippopotamus and it's too long. But as you keep playing it the songs really do sink in and I think it's a very good album. I would still put it at the same standard as Hippopotamus. There's n nothing really new on this. The last couple of albums have been very very similar but it's still good and it will require more listens but from initial slight disappointment I'm more than happy enough of this so this is on coloured vinyl as well you can get this in multiple formats but this one seems to be the one that a lot of people want is just a standard coloured vinyl so a steady drip 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 by Sparks and yes it got into the UK top 10 that's two in a row for them so well done Ron and Russell This one here, I saw this on um, Discogs, had to, had to pick it up and this is Velvet Underground 1969. This is basically the VU album that was released in the 80s of the 69 sessions plus the Another View album which was released a few years later put together in one double LP set and it is really really good. You know the songs like um, Temptation Inside Your Heart, I've always loved it. Um, you get some songs that um, Lou would actually then record as a solo artist, like Lisa Says uh, was on his debut album, She's My Best Friend was on, um, what one was it, it's a Coney Island Baby, I Can't Stand It was on the debut album, um, he also does Andy's Chest which was on Transformer, Real Good Time Together, got on to Street Hustle. So a lot of those um, Lou Reed albums, he, he took a lot of the songs from these sessions and to me this is better than the Loaded album by far and if you were to pick a really good one album out of these two albums it would be up there with The Debut and The Velvet Underground, the third one. So really good stuff. Uh, so Velvet Underground 1969, I think this was a 2017 release. Excellent stuff. Okay, um, now I said I was going to buy this if I saw it. It's still probably my least favourite album of theirs, but it does now complete the studio vinyl collection. I had to buy it, and um, it's Blue and Lonesome by Rolling Stones, and I got this for under £20. I thought, right, I have to do it because I will never see it at that price. I've played it, and I'm just, it's, still, it's okay, but it's still probably my least favourite, but it's great to have in the collection, so. I'm looking forward to the um, Goat's Head Soup remix 
just to see what it's like so that'll be the next stones I'll be buying so Blue and Lonesome um, completes the Rolling Stones studio album final collection and I'm leaving this one here to last because this is 30 minutes and 30 seconds of sheer brilliance brand new album released yesterday or sorry Friday and it's the Pretenders hit for sale absolutely brilliant uh, it goes by in a flash which is the way I like albums to be I don't like them to be too long and the highlights of this are the buzz which is very uh, kid like uh, lightning man which has got a, a really good a reggae vibe to it uh, didn't want to be this lonely it's just fantastic Bo Diddley music and crying in public is beautiful as is you can't hurt a fool so this has been played three times already um, I also bought this in CD which I had to because there's no download code in this so it's actually in the car at the moment so Pretenders hate for sale absolutely brilliant album and hopefully it charts uh, next week top 10 hopefully okay so that's uh, the purchases I have made new vinyl I have bought some second hand stuff but I'll leave that to another video um, there's some guilty pleasures in there let me tell you okay that's me for now um, I hope to have another video quite soon all the best now bye bye